Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Pisces. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to how this best resonates with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates, or parts of message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So we're starting off the reading today with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we'll use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot to clarify the Romance Angels, and then finish off the reading with the Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. So let's get into this reading. Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign that they need to know in relation to love for this week, please and thank you. One more shuffle. Okay, so we're going to cut up the deck now for you guys and then see what comes out. Okay, first card for you, we have the Nine of Pentacles, beautiful guys. Emperor in reverse, okay. Ten of Wands, Ten of, um, oh, I was going to say Ten of Swords. So we may see the Ten of Swords at some point in the reading, but that's the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Oh my gosh, guys, are you seeing this? Empress and Emperor both coming out in reverse in the reading. Wow. Wow, that's huge. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Gosh. Nine of Swords in reverse bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups knight of swords in reverse page of pentacles in reverse three of wands in reverse four of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups four of cups in reverse and the star and the high priestess you could be dealing with a cancer maybe even an aquarius we have aries on the table we have taurus we have libra we have more aquarius we have more taurus we have Scorpio and we have Leo with that Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But you could be dealing with a fellow um, water sign, an earth sign, a fire sign or even an air sign. So pretty much everyone is here, guys. But this is huge. This is so fascinating. OK, um, well, as you can clearly see, um, <laughs> we've got double tens on the board. So ten ten. So there is a huge ending, a very painful ending coming into play or it's already happened or there's a sense of stagnation um but it's getting ready to close out okay i feel like there's need to be a sense of acceptance of a situation finishing out so therefore then it's able to be able to close um i feel as well that potentially your love interest is most likely going through a breakup a separation or a divorce here from a baby mama or a baby daddy here as we have a true pair on the board but they're not necessarily a true pair for one another, okay? It's like you and this person, right, are the emperor and the empress upright with the wheel of fortune. And I feel like your love interest has had this realisation that actually you and them are meant to be destined and have something more together and that you are the strong soulmate connection or potentially you could even have a past life connection with one another or even um, be divine counterparts here, high level soulmates, twin flames, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. As I'm reading for lots of people here, guys, so everyone's story is going to be different. But there has been a sense of heartbreak that you and this person haven't been able to come together as of yet here. Um, and you've most likely been in separation from one another for quite a long time, okay? Especially if your love interest is dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex or a difficult third party situation. Um, third party situations can be in relation to anything guys it's something that takes a lot of our time our energy and our resources so it could be something to do with our career our finances our family um, it could be to do with some sort of um, health issues of sorts i'm also getting um, a sense of work demands anything really guys it could even be codependencies or addictions um, or some sort of negative influence in someone else's life in some way. So I feel like there's definitely been a lot here that's been going on behind the scenes, okay? I feel like your person is realising that they heavily invested in someone who they weren't meant to have everything with. And it's been very difficult to admit um, 
that something wasn't working out anymore but I feel like they're taking it in their stride to to get out of what they need to and to allow themselves to have the new beginning of which they are wanting okay I'm also feeling that this third party the karmic partner or the karmic ex there's most likely been a sense of infidelity here guys um and also a strong sense of codependency so emotionally codependent and also financially codependent okay I feel like your love interest is stressing right now because they're trying to end a very difficult cycle in their life and potentially you could be doing very well for yourself. Um, you could be very self-sufficient, you could be independent, you could be very capable. You know, I'm getting the sense that you have your own, um, you know, of everything as it were, like you are not needing of anything from anyone really. You're very much put together, very grounded, very balanced within yourself. And you're highly attractive at this time and lots of other people are seeing you as being very attractive and not necessarily just on a physical kind of basis. Like you are just attractive in the sense of your energy right now with what you're doing, prioritizing yourself. Um, I'm getting the sense of lots of self-love, self-care and you're just kind of really embracing your life right now. And I feel like this person is seeing you from a distance and they've got their eyes on you and I really am interested to see that this emperor when they're looking they're looking at you okay so their eyes are firmly on you as they go through this breakup or the separation with this other person but with this empress here being in reverse we could see that their eyes are actually drifting down to this way to the emperor so it's like your person even though they're going through what they're going through and they are highly focused on you, but they're not showing to you that they're focused on you. This karmic partner of the karmic ex is most likely very possessive or jealous in the sense that your person is focusing on you and not really focusing on them. And that um, they don't want to kind of be in this connection with this karmic partner or the karmic ex anymore. Because I feel like there's this been a strong sense of breadcrumbing here. Um, like this... This empress in reverse never really wanted this emperor and they just liked what they could get from this person, from this situation, like the sense of stability, security, um, soundness in a sense of um, financial matters, that type of thing. And I feel like your love interest has seen something for what it truly is and they're realising that they don't have to feel trapped in this connection with this person, even if they do have children or a family with one another. Um, that they can escape at any time, okay? I'm also getting this indication that if there has been any lies or manipulation or deceit or there's been a sense of unfaithfulness, I feel like that is coming to the forefront. That's going to be revealed. So if there has been a long pause where there's been no movement with this karmic partner or the karmic ex for your love interest, then things will naturally kind of turn around when it's ready to and when something has been revealed. So... I feel like there's been a sense of suspicion here um, with someone doing something that they probably shouldn't be doing and I feel like the mask is going to be coming off soon and that eventually your love interest is able to become independent, free and single and in a sense open themselves up to you emotionally and be more available when they're fully single because I feel like right now if they would come forward towards you they're still in this transitional phase and they wouldn't be quite ready to have something solid with you you know I feel like more on the basis that they're trying to stand their ground right now with this karmic partner or the karmic ex because potentially they gave over their personal power to this person quite a lot in the past and there was a sense of power struggle between these two people I'm getting very strong um, domination and submission type of connection where one was kind of using intimidation and fear and potentially blackmail or emotional manipulation of sorts or doing something to kind of um, control one over the other and it wasn't a sense of balance or fairness in a, in a connection, okay? I feel as well that potentially money was most likely used as a weapon here um, at some point. So I feel like someone gave off the particular impression that um, they had more, but they didn't. And also that um, there's a sense that if your love interest wasn't the one that was the main provider and their, lo their love interest was their comic partner or comic ex, as I'm saying this, um, they may have been the one that was the provider potentially. And then this in turn 
you know, they may have not been very um, overly giving with their money. They were holding it back. It's like they had to do certain things to get this type of money. So there's that type of um, manipulation there I'm getting. But I feel like finances have been a major issue here. And I also get that your love interest, if they're dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex, um, they always kind of had their hand out waiting for more money to be able to come in to them like they were very ungrateful and I feel like your love interest may have given much more to this karmic partner than they received and so therefore um, like there was not a very happy home I'm getting a sense that there was a house but there wasn't a home okay I feel like your love interest is very interested in you but they haven't been able to come forward and make themselves known because they are very much tied in with someone else or something else right now um, and I feel like they've got huge regrets on holding on to this other co person or connection, I'm trying to say. Um, they're trying to let go of whoever they need to or whatever they need to, to eventually show that they have romantic feelings for you because they genuinely do. And they want to revive the connection with you and have a sense of healing. But um, I feel like now and again, this person may have difficulty with fully trusting of themselves um to do the right thing because of the difficulties that there may have been in the past i feel like this person like stresses about certain things because they may have not fully told you of this truth of whatever was going on in the past they could have potentially lied um and then may have made you feel like um you weren't deserving of of this truth like you weren't deserving of having all the information or finding out exactly what was going on so there could have been difficulties there. I'm getting lots of messages here, guys. I feel a little bit bombarded with messages. So if a little bit of it comes out a bit kind of skew with then you know, <laughs> please forgive us on that because there is a lot coming through. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm actually going to clarify these majors on the table and we'll find out a bit more about what's going on here. So we've got the Emperor in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and also the Wheel, so the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What you don't know is that your person wants more than anything to take you out. They want to take you out, they want you and them to get together. I'm getting the sense that romance isn't dead, <laughs> so they want to rekindle something with you. They want to most likely give you a gift of sorts and they want this union or reunion here with that lover's energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. This person feels the spiritual connection between the two of you and they want more than anything to bring you into some sort of harmony with one another and have the fresh new beginning here. Look at that with the Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Okay, so it's like you know that this person is on their way. But they're having to deal with this other person or situation and it's taking a lot of their time and their energy. Yeah, as I say that, look at that with the Ten of Wands. I was thinking in my head, can you clarify the Emperor in reverse? And there we have it. There's this huge sense of burden, responsibilities, obligations that your person is having to carry on um, with dealing right now before having the new beginning. Look at that with the Fall. We've got d double Aries energy here, so you could be dealing with an Aries. Look at that. You know, with the devil energy in reverse, look at that Capricorn energy. You knew that your person has to drop the burdens first and they have to get rid of what they need to get rid of of what's not serving them anymore and escape an unhealthy, unbalanced, most likely toxic situation and take charge of their life before taking the leap of faith and coming forward towards you, okay? But they're feeling relatively... Um, restless as of right now as they're dealing with, with what they're dealing with as we know because they're carrying these heavy burdens so they feel really quite exhausted but they've gained clarity on their situation but they're just needing to take the time to get through what they need to get through right now and as i was saying earlier there's a lot probably going on behind closed doors that you don't know of look at that beautiful the star and the world this isn't going to last for too much longer here. There is going to be healing here with you and your person. They are going to close out the old cycle that they need to. Look at that. The wheel of fortune in reverse. Wheel of fortune in reverse. I can't make it up, guys. 
So where there was a sense of being stuck and stagnant, we've got double tens again, wanting to show itself, 10, 10. You know, it's all closing out, it's all finishing up. So where this person wasn't able to fully give to you in the past and where they had, you know, um, no time, no energy to reinvest in anything with you, that's all coming to an end. Yeah, look at that as I say that. With the Six of Pentacles coming out reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse... You know, they've been stuck because they've been dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex or a third party here who has been taking a lot of their time and their energy. I mean, this could even be like a mother-in-law, potentially father-in-law. Um, I'm getting just like a family member of sorts, an aunt, an uncle. Um, it could be anyone, guys, that is really kind of... Um, I'm getting the words like run amok, so run amok in someone else's life that they're needing to give up on first before they can close out the cycle and have the reunion or union with you here with the four of wands and the passionate new beginning with the ace of wands. So there's still something that is closing up as of yet, but your person's keeping tabs on you here with the page of swords. They're probably severing of a contract with this person. There's legalities because they're not happy where they are. Look at that. With the sun in reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo or your person is. They have not been happy where they are. And they've definitely not been happy without you. But look as I say this, right? I can see this card poking through. The Empress. And you know how I was saying earlier? That your person here with that Emperor energy looking at this Nine of Pentacles. They know that deep down you are their Empress. And you see that this Page of Swords is looking at this Empress. And that they are turning their back on what doesn't make them happy. Because the eyes on the prize are to come forward towards you. Okay. Now as I'm reading energy here rather than gender or sex. So please obviously take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. Your person knows that you are the Empress to their Emperor. Or the Emperor to their Empress. And that you're most likely you know, the true divine feminine or true divine masculine um, to their kind of divine counterpart if you're dealing with a, a, a twin flame, as it were. Okay, guys? Um, and they are very much all about you, okay? Look at that, with that fool wanting to come out. More Aries energy. They are coming forward towards you and they're keeping an eye here with that page of swords, absolutely. They just don't want you to be drawn into any of the petty kind of arguments and disputes that they've got in their life. So they're keeping you at arm's length. They want you and them to come together. Absolutely. And enjoy your life. Look at that. They can't revive the connection with you as of yet until they drop this burden with this other person. Um, because they're unhappy where they are or they have been for a very long time here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. You know, they've got a lot of external kind of distractions getting in their way right now as they're going through this breakup, separation or a divorce. There are too many kind of external factors kind of affecting the relationship between you and this person. And they don't want anything to get in the way of you and them having something more together. You know, look at that. There are blocks here. There are delays. This person wants more than anything to be able to travel to see you, to do right by you. For you and them to have a passionate new start with one another because they're sad they're sad that they feel like they've missed out on an opportunity for you and them to move on forward together um because their life's up in the air right now look they feel like they've missed out on you and them having this win this having this victory having this sense of victory and success with one another but you will be able to have it you will you will be able to come out the cold and kind of heal your heart and get together I'm going to pull a couple more cards, guys. Yeah, it's going to happen for you. Just have trust and faith that you know that things are turning around in your favour and you'll have this divine love. Look at that with the Two of Cups. This is a contract. This is a sacred contract that you and this person are meant to have it all together. Look at that. The Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer. They are so determined for you and this person to have everything that you are needing. Look at that with the King of Pentacles. This person wants to be able to provide for you. They want to look after you. They want to show you that they're loyal to you. Also, they know that you are deserving of someone who's going to be like solid in their life. And that's why they don't want to kind of come rushing in and be wish-washy and not fully finish what they have already, you know, fin not fully finish off another situation. 
because they can't not think about you here. They've constantly got you on their mind, but it's not until they've checked out from this other connection with this other person or situation that they're able to have something more with you because they've got drama and they're dealing with something legal that they're stuck in a karmic cycle with as of right now, or they have been. But this person, if they did reject you in the past or leave you out in the cold or something didn't um, go down very well in the past or they kept you in the dark, um, they want to apologise for that. And they want to tell you the real reasons as to why they did what they did in the past. Because I feel like this person is really owing of you in an apology. And all they want is you and them to have harmony with one another. They want to say to you about why they didn't put in the effort in the past or if they were nonchalant or if they came across as having an, a careless attitude. That wasn't the case. Like they, It's not like they didn't love you or didn't care for you. They just had so much else that they were dealing with that maybe they felt like, you know, I'm getting a sense that they couldn't truly genuinely believe that your connection was as, as intense as it was. Look, and that's why they potentially... Um, didn't kind of get invested with you in the past because they may have like carried on what they were doing because they may have just not understood at the time that the feelings between you were real they were deep and they may have been more in their kind of headspace rather than their heart space but they're also letting you know here that um they are leaving a situation here right because their heart's not in it anymore and they're wanting this new beginning with you because they want this two of cups so they're going through the breakup the separation of divorce with this other person they're moving on from it because they want the ten of cups upright with you because they have the ten of cups in reverse with someone else and they're realizing that um this karmic partner of the karmic ex was very selfish really quite greedy they weren't um like secure within themselves i'm getting a sense of uh, very materialistic your person was suffocating in another environment and they didn't want to be there yeah look at that they've gone through the breakup separation or divorce with this other person because they're not meant to be together and they're moving themselves forward slowly but surely they are because they're highly attracted to you highly attracted to you They've had this realisation that um, if they were once in love with this karmic partner or this karmic ex or if they thought that they were in love um, and that they loved them or they, you know, had a strong connection with them, it wasn't really true. Um, potentially they realised that this karmic partner, the karmic ex, was most likely using them in a sense for their money, their stability, their finances, of what your person could give to them. Um, and that's why they had the long-term investment with one another here with the Seven of Pentacles. So your person was working tirelessly to keep this connection with this karmic partner and show it as a labour of love by kind of doing all this work. But yet the karmic partner or the karmic ex wasn't really taking the time to nurture this connection with your love interest. Like they couldn't really care less. And so therefore your person had to learn a very difficult lesson and so therefore now they're they're realizing of this lesson and they're changing and they're motivated to get out of what they need to so they're leaving this person now or this situation that has been difficult and they're making their way to you because they feel this inner calling to come to you here with the judgment card you could be dealing with a sagittarius this person has this knowing that you are meant to have this reconciliation or union or reunion with one another and that they are most likely being um, kind of guided, as it were, to make their way to you, okay? So that you and them could have the new beginning because that's where the soul growth is going to be for this person, is, if, is going to be with you, okay? So let's look into the Empress in reverse for Pisces. Your love interest sees you and them having a very strong spiritual connection. And they want you and them to um, have it all together. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here, please? And thank you. Why is the Empress here in reverse for Pisces? Ooh, 
wow, look at that, justice. Strong legal case here. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that with the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Seven of Swords upright is where there has been um, there has been lies, there's been deceit, there's been um, infidelity, there's been a sense of um, hidden truths, potentially criminal activity. Um, I mean, we do have the legal card of the justice, so there's been something illegal that has maybe been going on. Um, maybe fraudulence, a sense of um, theft here. And the fact that we have the Seven of Swords coming out in reversal as well. So something's absolutely coming to light. And then that's wanting to be shown of itself as well. So something has been hidden, but everything is going to be revealed relatively soon. And I feel like your love interest is going to know exactly where they stand. Because there has been a sense of confusion, but then clarity is going to be coming in. And this in turn, look at that. When this clarity comes in, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, your person is going to be able to move on forward towards you and let you know of how they feel about you and that you make them happy here with the sun. And that you and them will have your happiness and heal your heartache from the past and move on forward in a much more positive manner here with the chariot. So you could also be dealing with a Cancer or maybe even a Cancer Leo cusp I'm getting. Yeah, everything's going to be revealed. Look at that, the High Priestess in reverse. You could also be dealing with another more Cancer energy here, guys. There were secrets, there were things that were hidden, but now something is going to be revealed and it's going to bring in balance. Look at that with these two pentacles here. There's going to be balance and harmony being brought in after there wasn't any. Wow, let's pull a few more cards and then we'll get into this a bit more. Very powerful so far, guys. Okay, so we have Judgment in Reverse, the Ace of Wands, beautiful, Six of Pentacles now coming up upright, the Magician in Reverse, so we have Sagittarius, we have Gemini, we have Virgo and Scorpio energy, I'll take a few more, and then we'll talk about those, the Hierophant, okay, so I'm going to take that as upright and reversal, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, so we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. I'm feeling this one. Five of swords in reverse. Um, one more, please. And thank you. Okay, it's too many. But look at that. Queen of pentacles wanting to come out. King of swords. Strength. Yeah, your love interest is getting the backbone, basically, to talk to a lawyer or talk to whoever they need to and re-establishing their own sense of self-worth that they are deserving of an equal give and take relationship or partnership and um, they're getting out of what they need to get out of so they're, ha they're getting someone to help them read through the fine print to do with a lawsuit and this entail is going to allow them to come forward towards you in relation to love with the knight of cups beautiful i'll take one more please and thank you for pisces queen of wands ace of swords beautiful beautiful we love that oh my gosh guys with the sun stunning energies we've got two aces that have come out in relation to that as well the lovers in reverse the empress in reverse wow oh my gosh guys are you seeing this queen of wands king of wands ace of pentacles in reverse wow i'm getting so many messages here guys so please bear with us um your love interest is realising that they want to come forward towards you with a peace offering. They want to tell you the truth. They're the ones that realising that you and them are meant to have the soul connection with one another here with that Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. They want to come forward towards you and tell you of their truth. And they want to say to you that they feel awful because they've been looking back on the past and realising that they've missed out on an opportunity with you and that they... Um, regret retreating from you and they didn't want to retreat from you but they felt like they had to at the time i'm getting also the harsh light of day here has been shone on a situation with the lovers in reverse and the empress in reverse as we've got the empress in reverse already here on the table um that your love interest has been dealing with someone who um was most likely very manipulative who was jealous who was envious who was um sneaky who was um, 
most likely unfaithful here, guys. And that the loyalty and the trust was gone. And that this connection was not meant to be revived with this person. And that they've realised that there's been a sense of trickery um, and emotional manipulation. So your person is now getting everything that they need to understand what they need to do next for themselves in their life. So they're getting all the information that they need. I'm getting a sense that they're writing up a contract of sorts to make sure that this karmic partner or the karmic ex doesn't actually interfere with your connection and so that um, they don't have access to you, I'm getting. So they don't have access to you and that your person is free and available to be single but also to um, invest in a solid connection with you if they so wish, which I feel like they very much want to. So um, they are realising that they want the solid commitment with you. They want marriage with you, okay? They want the long-term commitment and to settle down with you because they recognise what you are meant to have with one another. So let's move on here with that Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, look at that. With the Emperor in reverse with the Sun, the harsh light has been shone on a situation that your love interest was not fully, you know, embracing themselves in their true authenticity by being where they were, you know, the conditions of where they were in the past, it wasn't suiting them anymore. And so therefore they've needed to change. They have needed to change their ways, they change their surroundings, take control of their life and not get walked on or be a pushover, you know, from this karmic partner or the karmic ex, most likely treating them very poorly here, guys. And so for them to kind of stand up for themselves, work on them and eventually make their way to you, okay? Getting lots of messages, so please obviously just take what you feel resonates and leave the rest, guys. So we're just going to finally look into this Wheel of Fortune in reverse here. There is so much potential for you and this person to have a brand new beginning. Um... There's so much love here. There's passion here. Um, justice is coming into play for you both. I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up marrying this person. Absolutely. If this is what you are wanting. Wow. Okay. Right. Let me just try that again. Whew. These cards are feeling a little bit stuck now for some reason. Right. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, please, for Pisces. Ooh, too many, too many. But you will have victory. Or your person, your love interest will have victory with whoever they're dealing with in a third party situation. They will eventually receive good news because they're meant to rebalance their, themselves and get out of it. There's the good news with the Page of Wands. And then they'll be able to set boundaries with this karmic partner or the karmic ex or the third party, whoever they're dealing with. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yep. Five of Pentacles, there has been hard times, most likely in the home, but that is going to be coming to an end relatively soon. And your person is now recognising that they've gone through a, a challenging karmic cycle. They had to be left out in the cold, they have to be um, humbled, I'm getting, so that you and this person could eventually have this union re reunion or um, reconciliation with the 401. So you could be dealing with your divine counterpart here, I keep getting that. Um, I keep getting that. I feel like that will resonate for a few of you. What else here with the five of pentacles, please? Yep, yeah. they had to be unhappy. Look, they had to be unhappy here with this karmic connection or relationship with the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. It was necessary. Look at that. Four of pentacles. Seven of cups. They had to deal with someone who was very codependent on them, very selfish, very clingy, um, wish-washy, hot and cold. Yet yeah, they had to deal with someone that there was power struggles with. With that Emperor in reverse coming out again. Basically, your love interest had to be in this other connection with this karmic partner or the karmic ex. They had to have their dreams shattered, basically, um, to be humbled. Um, so that they could learn to kind of pick themselves up again after a hard time. 
and gather a new sense of strength and confidence within themselves and self-worth. Look at that and become more self-assured within themselves and realise that they, they had to learn these particular lessons for their soul growth and then push themselves onward, get themselves free, get themselves independent and then eventually come forward towards you. Come on, what else please for Pisces? What else here please for Pisces? Thank you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh wow, in reverse I wanted to say it's upright. What that meant was, was that this love interest, right, with their karmic partner, everything looked like it was rosy on the outside. You know, according to all the neighbours, family members, friends, work colleagues, everything looked hunky-dory. But it really wasn't, because for me to say it was in reverse. So it's coming out upright, because your love interest is realising that they should have had this with you all along. And that's why they're coming forward towards you to have this love offer with the Page of Cups. Yeah, because they want to bring balance to you here with the Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sorry about that, guys. My um, my phone uh, camera kind of um, cut off, so I'm so sorry about that. So I've just had to slightly edit the video. Um, but just continue with what I was saying. Yeah, this person absolutely wants to come forward and they want to reconcile with you. They want to heal the connection with you. Um, just take things slowly with one another. Take it in with moderation. Be patient with one another. Um, I feel like letting you know as well that on the outside, in this person's life, everything seemed to look really rosy, but it genuinely wasn't. I'm getting the sense that this person may have felt like they were living some sort of nightmare and they weren't even able to kind of express to anyone else um, about what was genuinely going on because I feel like other people wouldn't really believe them of what's really going on. So that may have also kind of got in the way of them um, seeking help but from anyone and they've been very stressed and anxious about things as they've been very painful here with that Ten of Swords, okay? So um, I'm just getting the strong indication that other people would have not really believed what they were going to say to other people if they did genuinely told them the truth, that everything was not exactly as it as it seems and that things were really quite challenging here, okay? So I feel like your person most likely was just very, very stressed in this other connection or this other situation and they desperately wanted to get themselves out of it. I And I feel like it's it's interesting to me because I'm getting that sense of be careful what you wish for because it may come true and this person wished for what they had in the past and they got everything they wanted and then they kind of wished that they didn't wish for it because everything looked to be great but it, it really wasn't. So um, let's look into this a bit more. As I say that, gosh, guys, I can't even make it up with the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy and temperance. Yeah. Everything may have looked like it was balanced, but there was huge power struggles and difficulties. Um, there was most likely emotional needs not being met here. There was codependency. Um, I'm getting a sense of a lot of criticism, maybe even infidelity, possessiveness lies. I feel like your love interest um, was dealing with a karmic partner or the karmic ex who wasn't really um, very committed. They weren't committal as it were. They liked their stability, they liked their security but potentially they were unfaithful. Um, I, I don't know why I'm getting that for some reason. Uh, potentially they may have even had like some sort of um, open marriage or an open relationship. That could have also been something if there wasn't necessarily infidelity, but I'm picking on that as well, okay? But I feel like there was definitely some sort of deceit here or lies or something, okay? Um, something was held, held back. I feel like your person is going to come forward and let you know that they're very sorry that they held back from you and then they didn't communicate this truth because they deeply regret, regret it here with the Five of Cups. They regret it. I'm getting the sense that they feel a, lo a lot of sorrow and guilt for not being transparent with you in the past. I'll take one more for that Wheel of Fortune and we'll move on to the Romance Angels, guys. Oh, okay, well, they wanted to jump out of my hand. 
two of swords and the six of cups. Yeah, this person's going to apologize that they sat on the fence and they procrastinated and that they didn't come back towards you with this um, six of cups for this reunion or union or reconciliation in the past. Like they didn't put in the effort to make things work with you before and that they basically hung around on your connection with the hangman. You could be feeling this way about this other person or potentially this is the way that this person genuinely feels to you here. They want to express to you because this is Pisces energy, okay? Um, they are making plans to come forward towards you to make this work and to end an old painful cycle of the past because they've had this epiphany um, that they've not been happy where they are and that they can actually genuinely change their life if they are wanting to. And what I love about this too is, look, the Knight of Cups with the Hangman, this person's full intentions are to be coming forward towards you, okay? They will be offering their love to you. They want this intimacy with you. They want this closeness, you know, they want this sense of fun and vibrancy between the two of you. They've got this new perspective on love and they don't want you and them to kind of hang around anymore. But they feel like as of right now, or they felt for a little while, that they couldn't take action on coming forward towards you and being proactive in a sense of taking you out because of whatever they've been dealing with. Um, they feel this love, they feel this passion, they want this um, connection with you. But I feel like they're just um, ironing out the kinks as of right now with whatever they're dealing with. So let's look into the romance angel, shall we? So if you are enjoying this reading, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment, I greatly appreciate it. And um, if you do like this reading, um, please hit that like button as it makes a, a massive difference with the channel and it really helps get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Everything you need to know about myself and the channel is in the description box below. And if you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, then there is a donation link now available in the description box below. So thank you so much to those who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you all. Even if you do not financially donate, then a great way to energetically donate is to like, share and subscribe and leave us a comment. And I'll eventually get back to you on those guys. Um, I've just been receiving so many comments recently that it's actually getting a little bit overwhelming. So... Um, I will try my best to get to ba uh, get back to as many of you as I can. I, I really will um, work on that, guys, okay? Um, but yeah, let's get into this, shall we? Your person has not want to kind of um, hold themselves back from you by any means, okay? By any means. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. They just feel like they're not fully able to come forward towards you so you and them can retreat and go off elsewhere because they are still potentially stuck in something with someone um yeah look honeymoon all they want is you and them to go away together i'm getting vacation so this person wants it just to be you and them together but they feel like they couldn't have that with you right right now okay very soon and give your relationship a chance Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and work on your partnership. Ah, okay. What I'm getting is that... Ooh, <clears throat> my throat. Okay. <clears throat> Obviously this doesn't want to be said, but... The karmic partner of the karmic ex is trying to make sure that they don't um, have your person leave them. They're trying to keep them stuck where they are, Okay. Because they know that they're going to be on their way to you very soon at some point and that you and them are going to have another chance. With these coming out in reverse, for a long time, the karmic partner of the karmic ex has been um, trying to work on this partnership with your love interest, but they are not interested in it whatsoever. Like, they don't want to give it another chance. And I feel like your love interest wants you and them to have another go and soon they're going to be coming round towards you to make it work. That's what I'm picking up on anyway, guys. I feel like this karmic partner, the karmic ex, is trying to have control of the situation. And I feel like they are losing control or they're losing grip. I feel like your love interest has realised that 
they are willing to go through the sacrifices that are deemed necessary for the highest good of themselves because they want emotional fulfillment. I feel like, you know, they once really did care about their finances and their financial stability and the material world and what people thought of them and everything else. But I feel like they're kind of getting out of all of that. And, you know, it's having that sense of balance. Like, yes, of course, it's important to kind of focus on our, you know, material world, but not to be so you know superficial to the point where it just rules the roost as it were and you don't really have much of anything else and I feel like there's this sense of balance that you know they are getting more in tune with their emotions and following their heart rather than being up in their head thank you chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here yeah well they want more than anything for it to be you and them because the feelings that they have for you are real your feelings are real and worth exploring with romantic feelings. Absolutely. What else here for Pisces? Your person felt at a crossroads for a very long time. Look at that. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others and trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith with heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other yeah your love interest is definitely getting help and guidance from those who they feel like they can trust as of right now um so that you and them could actually get to go together sooner rather than rather than later um i feel like you are getting advice right now um potentially from your own kind of i'm getting a sense guides so if you are like in tune more spiritually, then maybe you're getting more tapped in with your guides, as it were, in following your intuition and knowing and trusting and having faith that the synchronicities and the signs that they are showing you um, is giving you the sense of evidence that you will be having another chance with one another, that the, the feelings are real, the chemistry is there. You will eventually have what it is that you're wanting with this person at a later date when things are kind of ready to happen and that you will face each other for this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Look at that, as I say, that worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. See, there's those two angels that are standing here in this card. They are definitely helping you both to get to this, point, this position and point where you will have this union or reunion. Look at that. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, as I was saying about signs and synchronicities, well, here it is. You know, you're not necessarily seeing red flags it's just a sense of you're getting this um you're just kind of being pointed in the right direction so not to necessarily take this as a negative connotation here without pay attention to the red flags okay but also your love interest is also getting signs and synchronicities and they're now seeing the red flags of whoever they've been dealing with in this karmic connection with this karmic partner, this karmic ex, or whatever third party situation they've got going on in their life. Um, and if this karmic partner or the karmic ex is trying to use lust or physical attraction or something, um, that they got a heads up on that, that genuinely, um, yeah, that the feelings aren't real and that they are needing to release of this person and its sense of manipulation and gaslighting and keeping them around for their own personal gain rather than the sense of, um, because they want your person to be happy obviously they don't want your person to be happy even though they're not happy themselves with the, whatever the situation is they don't want your person to move off and be happy to be happy on their own but also especially not to move on and be happy with you for some reason i mean this comic partner the comic ex or even the third party may not even know of you whatsoever but yet for some reason it's like you would be the worst person that they could ever go and pick when actually more than anything you're the probably the best pick and that's probably why this karmic partner or the karmic ex has most likely used a form of, of manipulation to your person to say look promise me you don't go out with this person promise me you don't do this promise me that you don't do that with this one particular person because in that sense, this karmic partner, the karmic ex, knows that you are most likely on this path with one another and you're actually genuinely meant to be. And so it's like a cha an extra challenge there of throwing obstacles in the way on purpose to confuse your person or your love interest. Wow, that was a, a lot of messages that just flew out of me. So please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest, guys. 
Whew, gosh, um, I feel exhausted. I don't know about you, but let's get into this. The soulmates and separation, unspoken love messages and see what your love interest wants to say. Wow, you hear that siren in the background? Oh my gosh. It's actually a pickup truck, pickup truck, right? With a skip. Rubbish is being taken out. The trash is being taken out. The bins are being taken out. Oh my gosh, this old karmic connection or relationship is gonna be gotten rid of. There's gonna be obstacles lifted. Things are gonna be taken away. Wow. Wow. So yeah, just know and trust and have faith that very soon things are going to be lifted and gotten rid of, get, gotten rid of. And so that you and this person will eventually come together. Wow. That's just the message I was getting on that. So um, yeah, let's carry on. Obviously, this could be what your love interest would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them. As we do have cross watchers here, guys, you're very welcome. This could be if you've had no contact, little contact, or if you are talking, then it could be a bit sporadic. Okay. So let's get into these last few messages for you. Woo! On earth? Wow. Do I take all of that? Yes, I'm getting told yes, so I will take it. They came out for a reason, so I'm taking it. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one, bu one big lie. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. My life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. Every song I hear reminds me of you. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. And I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. Well, there's the six cards, guys, that I normally lay out. So they all came out for a reason. I am lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. And give me more time. I'm working on being a better counterpart for you. You deserve much more than what I could give at the time. So I hope, guys, um, that there was a message in there that resonated a few messages, if not the whole reading. So let us know down in the comments below and I'd love to get your feedback and I'll eventually get back to you whenever I can, guys. Um, so thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, but I hope that you have enjoyed the reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. Please take care of yourselves. I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll speak to you very soon. So um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment as well. So thank you again. Take care. Thank you for being here. Bye now.